Hello, I have a quick one for you today. Taboo Conspiracy released a video recently in which he's being confused about the motion of stars in a time lapse recorded on a plane flying from Zurich, Switzerland to Sao Paulo, Brazil. Now, to be fair, the motion of the stars in this time lapse is a bit confusing because of how the motion of the plane combines with the rotation of the Earth. But this, this was flat Earth level confusion. Oled Hasseler, and I apologize for most likely butchering the pronunciation of the name, recorded a nice video in response, in which he modeled the motion of these stars in Blender. And that gave me an idea. What if I modified the Coriolis simulator I created a while ago, so that it was possible to attach the camera to an object? The program already simulates motion over a rotating Earth and shows the sky, after all. So, this is what I did. Here is what it looks like. Let's put a plane in Zurich. Zurich is roughly at 47.3 degrees north, 8.5 degrees east. Let's put the plane at an elevation of 10 kilometers and heading towards Sao Paulo at an azimuth of 229 degrees. The velocity will be 250 meters per second or about 900 kilometers per hour. Okay, so we can see that if I run the simulation, the plane flies towards Sao Paulo, which is somewhere here. And it takes a while to, to reach there. But eventually it reaches Brazil after roughly 40,000 seconds or a bit ab above 11 hours. Okay, cool, but this is the external view. What does it look like if we follow the plane? So let's reset the simulation state and I added this selector here which lets me select a camera that will be following object 0. And object 0 in this case is just our plane which is positioned at the beginning in Zurich. So this is what the plane would see. But if you look at the video from the plane you will see that the orientation of the sky was somewhat different. For example the Milky Way was initially visible roughly in front of the plane. So using this slider here to rotate the sky, I can set the initial orientation so that it roughly matches the view from the plane. And also we should note that the plane wasn't uh, exactly at that heading at the beginning of the video, nor was it in Zurich, it was near Mallorca. So I will rotate it yeah, something like that, should be fine. And I will also increase the field of view a bit so that we see more of the sky. Okay, so let's run the simulation again. I'll just collapse this part and move it so that it doesn't obscure the view. And let's see what the view from the plane looks like. And what we can see here is that the motion of the stars matches the time-lapse pretty well, in that the stars move from left to right in the field of view, and rotating clockwise around a point that is initially somewhere below the horizon, and at the end it is above the horizon. Now, obviously this isn't a perfect reproduction of the flight. Let me rewind this so that I can show you again what the stars did here. So you can see in the beginning that this part of the Milky Way moves from left to right here, so the center of rotation is somewhere below the horizon. But as we move further and further, for example now, it seems to rotate at around the point roughly somewhere here. And at this point it already rotates around point somewhere here. Anyway, obviously this isn't a perfect reproduction of the flight. It doesn't reproduce the turns, and the actual path wasn't a great circle line directly from Zurich to Sao Paulo either, even if just because of the turns. But still, we can see that the effect recorded on the video shown by Taboo Conspiracy matches the simulation pretty well. Now, Taboo Conspiracy expected to see the stars rising upwards in front of the plane, and we can actually simulate that part too. Let me edit the state. This is roughly what the pilot would see if the plane was much faster. So let me increase the speed tenfold to 2500 meters per second. And when I do that, the state will reset. And let's decrease the time step because the plane will now be much, much faster. Okay, so let's see what happens now. Let me collapse this again and launch the simulation. 
Now we can see that because the plane moves much faster than the Earth rotates, its motion dominates and we see the stars rising in front of us. But this is at a speed of 9000 km per hour. At just 900 km per hour the result is what we saw in the previous simulation and in the video. So that's it from me, but here's one more cool thing. You can actually play with this simulator for yourself. It's available for downloading on GitHub. You'll find the link in the description. Thanks for watching, enjoy and see you in the next one.